love Alex Jones. <laughs> Folks, I'm telling you guys, this is real, okay? <laughs> hey, I'm, tell I'm telling you guys right now, you need to listen to what I'm saying and buy my anti-New World Order dick pills. It'll keep your heart against the elite. <laughs> Folks, ju just the bone broth in this stuff, 39994s.com, you can order 10 crap. I, I have it with my lunch. I eat it every day with my lunch. I literally can't get enough of this stuff. When I'm staring down evil and... It's Easter weekend. The Lord does pass through me. I can't even tell you. I looked into Hillary Clinton's soul. She doesn't have one, first of all. And if you elect Hillary Clinton, you're looking at a thousand years of darkness, folks. A thousand years. <laughs> We've actually met Alex Jones, as you can see, a few times. And uh, um, before he became Donald Trump's personal toilet, uh, <laughs> we... <laughs> We ran, we ran into him a few times. <laughs> yeah. Eric, in New York City one time, that was nuts, yeah. at a 9-11 Truth event. And oh, yeah. then you ran into him at the Republican National Convention in 2016, and that was pretty... Yeah, so that slide that next to him right there with uh, Alex with the shades on, um, I went out to the RNC in Cleveland this past election in 2016, and um, you know I went out there for the Trump thing to get some press and make contacts and network, and I had a floor pass. So it was a really cool event. So I'm like, I know Alex Jones is coming out here. There's no way he's not coming. He's going to come here and stir the shot, that uh, stir the pot, have all his alt-right troll retards with him. It's going to be incredible. <laughs> and I was on the main street where all the media was, and I started seeing people with that shirt with Bill Clinton on it, and underneath it, it just says rape on it. So my Alex Jones sensor started going off. <laughs> like, okay. <laughs> all right, that's, yeah, that, that's, that's Alex Jones. He's coming, he's coming. And... I saw these people setting up these signs. Uh, uh, Clinton's War on Women was a book that Alex Jones had out. And basically, it was a troll job against the Clintons um, about all the women that Bill Clinton raped or allegedly raped and assaulted. And Roger Stone wrote it. And Roger Stone and Alex Jones are like, you know, biffles now. They're yeah, best Greg, friends. I'm not gay, but I mean, let's talk. He's a silver-haired fox, folks. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if you've seen Roger Stone. He's a good-looking man. He's tight. He's where I work out, too. I was at the gym the other day. Uh, I just blended a steak. I'm drinking my blended steak with my anti-New World Order foaming agent. And uh, Roger was there. He, he, looks, he looks great. Roger's got a great ass, folks. He's got, a great, he's got two hams on that thing. <laughs> so, you know, long story short, Alex Jones shows up with a, just a freaking mob around him. And one of his bodyguards, I was talking to him, is this former military guy with, like, arms the freaking size of the mountain from Game of Thrones and, like, a big beard and, like, neck tattoos. He looked like a Blackwater dude, like a really mean guy. And he was armed and, like, all amped up. So I was just like, you know, screw it. I'm going to do my Alex Jones impression for this guy. So I, I do the Alex Jones impression. I go, you guys are incredible. You got my back. I know the military loves me. The military loves Trump. Infowars.com. And he like, I didn't know how he was going to take it. And he started laughing. And he's like, he's like dude, I'm going to tell Alex about that. And you got to do it for Alex. <laughs> so he gets Alex to come over. And I, I, you know, I, I, I do it for, for Alex. And he's, he's just barrel laugh, starts, you know, laughing. You know, looks like a gorilla. <laughs> he goes, that's pretty funny. You're going to come up here and do that in front of everybody. So I went up in front of this big crowd of like 200 people with cameras and, and did a whole bit as Alex Jones, and uh, it was pretty funny. And then the next day, I met him outside the, in the convention hall. I was dressed as Trump. There's Alex right there. These new anti-New World Order people, you know. I mean, look at me. I mean, look at me. I'm like Rambo. That's like Rambo 2, right? That's, yeah. That's kind of like Rambo 2. Yeah, that's good. You know, I go to Infowars.com. <laughs> <laughs> it's just the rest of the show. We're just going to do Alex Jones. Now, you suspect, Mike, that Alex Jones is like probably an intelligence asset or a shell? He could be, man. I mean, he, so he puts out information. Some of it's like, yeah, I, I can get behind this. I mean, he makes some really good points, and, uh, um, you know, you don't hear it anywhere else. And, and then, I don't know, he just, he's like, I mean, uh, you know, so this happened, and uh, then I saw an 11-foot-tall reptilian from Mars. <laughs> so he he kind of... He sprinkles that in there a little bit. Inter interdimensional. I mean, these people are so evil, folks. If you've ever been to the Bohemian Grove, you got Henry Kissinger pissing on a redwood tree. You wouldn't even believe what's going on, folks. This stuff's real. I've been there. I documented it. Google it. Larry Silverstein said, pull it. <laughs>